hi friends so welcome to all in this video we are going to uh, see how to configure ssh on cisco router and a cisco switch first of all we will build a simple network here we will use the router 1941 switch 2960 also number of pcs pc0 and pc1 coming to connections copper straight through g0 slash 0 to switch g0 slash 1 f0 slash 1 to pc0 f0 slash 2 to pc1 but here it shows so that we will remove this connection and we will reconnect it f0 slash 2 to pc1 now it's correct also we will rename these devices this is r1 and here we have s1 now we will do the basic configurations on these uh, devices coming to r1 cli no enable configure terminal host name as r1 also we will enable secret as class We'll go to line console 0, password as Cisco, login. Also, we will set the IP address uh, uh, for this interface uh, that is uh, G0 slash 0. We will go to that interface uh, G0 slash 0 and here we will set the IP address 192.168.1.1. And this submit to mask 255.255.255.0. No shut command. And we will verify the configurations. Show running config. And here we can see host name. Enable the secret. Also here we can see the interface. A gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And its IP address. It's correct. Also, we configured a password for the line console. Copy running config, startup config. Now we will do the basic configurations on this uh, device S1. Enable configure terminal hostname as S1. Enable secret class. Also, we will go to line console 0 and we will set the password as Cisco login. Now, we will go to the interface VLAN 1 and we will set the IP address 192.168.1.2. Submit to mask 255.255.255.0. No shutdown. Also, we will set the IP default gateway 192.168.1.1. We can verify the configurations. Show running config. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the IP address we set for the interface VLAN 1. Everything correct. We'll give copy running config startup config. Now we will configure these devices PC0 and PC1. Coming to PC0, we will set the IP address, desktop IP configuration. We will set the IP address 192.168.1.10. Here is a submit to mask. Also, we will set the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Coming to PC1, desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.11. Submit to mask. The default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Now we will verify the connectivity. 
coming to PC0 command prompt first of all we will uh, ping to the default gateway 192.168.1.1 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will ping to our switch yes one so 1.2 we are waiting for the replay here we can see we are getting the replay from uh, the switch yes one also we will ping to uh, the next PC that is PC1 the IP address is 1.11 and here we can see we are getting the replay so now here we are going to configure uh, the SSH the previous video we have seen uh, how to configure uh, telnet for uh, management connections and how to use that so here uh, we are going to uh, replace this telnet uh, uh, with ssh we know that telnet uses insecure plain text communications here ssh provides security for remote connections by providing strong encryption of all transmitted data between devices so here we will secure a remote switch as well as a router uh, s1 and r1 uh, with the password encryption and ssh here first of all we will encrypt communications for that uh, we have to set the ip domain name and we have to generate uh, secure keys here actually these are secure keys are needed to encrypt the data and we have to generate the rsa keys uh, using a key length uh, in the range of uh, 360 to 2048 anyways we will uh, do that on this uh, switch s1 password is a Cisco enable password is class configure terminal here we have IP here we can see domain name and we have to set a domain name here we are going to set ccna.com now we will generate uh, secure keys for that we have to give a crypto key generate RSA and here we can see choose the size of the key modulus in the range of 360 to 2048 for your general purpose keys choosing a key modulus greater than FITAL may take a few minutes so here we will give 1024 here we can see now we will do it on our rotor r1 cisco enable password is class configure terminal and here we are going to give ip domain here we can see domain name ccna.com and here we are going to give crypto key generate rsa how many bits in the modulus 1024 now we will create an ssh user also we will configure the vty lines to check the local username database for login credentials and here we will allow only SSH for remote access. We will do that configuration on our device S1. Yes here we will create username, we will create as admin, then we will give the password secret as Cisco. Now we will go to uh, vty line vty 0 to 15 and we will configure the vty lines to check the local uh, username database so for that we have to give login local now we are going to give a transport input here we can see here we are going to give only SSH also we have all protocols or a telnet so here we are going to give SSH
now we will do it on the router R1 username here we can see uh, when we given this uh, command username SSH enabled here we can see SSH 1.99 has been enabled right so here we will give a username as admin also we will set the password secret as Cisco now we will go to line VTY 0215 login local also we have to transport input only SSH now we will save the configurations on this uh, both devices copy running config startup config coming to yes one copy running config startup config now we will verify SSH implementation uh, we will try from PC1 command prompt uh, first of all we will try telnet telnet we will telnet to the rotor R1 192.168.1.1 here we can see it won't work connection to uh, this 192.168.1.1 closed by 4 in host now we will try SSH so simply we will type SSH and we will press enter so here we can see the format we have to give a SSH hyphen uh, this is L uh, for uh, login then we have to give the username then the target address we will give that in that order SSH hyphen L so our username is admin we are going to login into our router r1 we have to give the target IP address 192.168.1.1 and here we can see it's prompted for password we given the password as Cisco here we can see now we are in this router r1 enable password is class here we can do the further configurations now we will try to SSH into our uh, Suchi S1 so we will exit right so here we are going to give SSH hyphen L username is admin and the target IP address 192.168.1.2 this is the IP address of our Suchi S1 and here we can see it's prompted for the password Cisco here we can see now we are in the switch yes one enable password is class and here we can do the further configurations well in this video we have seen a small uh, configuration that is configuring SSH but it's very important uh, for management connections friends if you have any doubt regarding configuring SSH please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends stay tuned for this type of videos also consider subscribing thank you